Hi there, it's Reese again here from 501st Creations. Uh, this is a demonstration of the, the new Verso amp. That's uh, Verso amp. And it's um, it's a system that's uh, that's got uh, the Hovi out sort of um, uh, facility, so it can run Hovi tips. It's got a powered microphone in, so there's no need for a preamp. It's also got a uh, an auxiliary out with its own independent gain control, which makes a big difference. And it's got an auxiliary in, so that you can run. A soundboard or some other system through it. Uh, there might be something else that you want to run through it. Um, you know, some sort of FX card or something like that. Uh, maybe a little static burst type thing. Uh, although this is, um, if you uh, give a little blow, then you can create the static burst sound anyway. It's um, uh, this uh, amp doesn't come with a built-in static burst. But it fits in the same size of box as the nano amp, which is really, really small, um, absolutely tiny. Runs off a, a 9 volt battery. I'm recommending that people buy a um, <coughs> a rechargeable 9 volt battery now. Um, they come with really high capacity, uh, and you can always carry a, a spare with you as well inside your armor should you need it. Um, okay, so this system has also got this lead here. Okay, and in, in my back plate, in here, I've got a Lynx B-Tube, which is a, a rechargeable speaker. Now you're going to hear a little bit of feedback while I just fiddle about inside here and find where this lead plugs in. If you just bear with me, I'll just get this adjusted. And this plugs in. There we go. Okay, so that's now running another speaker now. I'm not sure if this is going to pick up on this camera, but basically this is about five times the volume. I mean, it really is significant. I think if I stand to the side, you might be able to hear some of the some of the difference in volume now. It's um, it is very significant. Um, and excuse me, while I just pick up out the shot, I'm back in shot now. Okay, so. Um, but this the lead is designed so that when you take your helmet off, it just comes off. It's got all strain relief built into it. It's not a jack plug. It's a different type of connector, and it's it's all armoured, and you can run the two systems together. So you can run the speaker in the back, or a speaker on your belt, and you can run the Hobie tips as well. So you get projection from. The front of the helmet, so there's your front projection, and you also get your projection from the back of your armour using the extra speaker which is now built in. Um, there's a little bit of feedback because I'm fiddling about inside the helmet, but once it's all once it's all set up and balanced, then um, there's no feedback at all. And these hobies are. are Surprisingly loud, actually, considering how small they are. But they're just for conversational use. They're not for, you know, sort of a, a big punch. Um, that's why I've uh, decided to put to, to build this new amplifier, which will run uh, other powered speakers. In fact, it can run passive speakers as well. That's a speaker with no independent, uh, no um, self-contained power supply. Um, but um, I prefer the idea of a, of a self-powered speaker because you can recharge it and it doesn't drain off the, off the main amplifier inside your lid. Um, so this is the Verso amp, uh, great sound, uh, it's got that, um, that traditional sort of A&H um, uh, uh, 77 sort of sound, you know, at, at Moss Isley. Um, I love it, I think it's great. Um, it's going to be out very soon, uh, a bit more expensive than the Pico amp and the Nero amp, purely because of the extra electronics that's crammed inside it, and the extra connectors and the, the extra work that goes into building it. But the kit will come with with the various leads. Excuse the feedback while I'm just inside. So it'll come with the with the leads with the system that plugs it all together inside, um, and there we go. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.